love we have come to celebrate the life, the legacy, the love of Dr. Wyatt T. Walker. We've come to give encouragement and strength and support to this family. Hundreds came together to honor and remember the civil rights icon who passed away in January at 89 years old. Dr. Walker devoted his life to serving God and his community. He was very instrumental during the civil rights era, serving as the chief of staff to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I would always admire him because of his uh, cool, debonair manner. Uh, why it had that New York panache that caused younger preachers to look at him and say, I want to be like that guy one day. He was a national religious leader and international advocate for social justice, helping organize the March on Washington while fighting to get rid of unjust laws like Jim Crow. Walker was a central part of the making of this book. In fact, if you open it up, uh, you'll see the introduction was written by Dwight Walker. Walker received countless awards for his work during that time, but he was more than just an icon. He was also a husband, father, and grandfather. He was a great swimmer, master carpenter, so I just learned so many skills, uh, photography from him, musician. I play 12 different instruments. His son, Wyatt T. Walker Jr., says he wants to keep his father's dream alive. We are hoping to preserve and work with the uh, University of Richmond to make sure his sermons and his works are distributed so the mass community will have access to them. With the hope that his teachings will challenge and inspire the world to keep fighting for equality, never give up, and most importantly, trust in God. The work that he has done um, will live on. A day of fellowship, tears, and laughter for those who knew him and loved him. Working for you in Petersburg, Ashley Lewis, CBS 6 News.